When the moment of new footage flashed how Ukraine drone cripple 430 Russian troops near Avdivka, Russia also lost at least 15 tanks and 33 armored vehicles due to drones attacks Ukrainian forces in about two days as it launched a major assault on a strategic village analyst said. OSINT Technical, a prominent X account run by a person affiliated with the Center for Naval Analyzes, said on Thursday that Russia had taken significant losses in the fight for Avdivka, it added that they accounted for roughly a battalion tactical group worth of vehicle losses. OSINT Technical said the footage appears to date from Tuesday and Wednesday, with the conditions of many of them appearing to be consistent with the current weather and foliage. Russia launched its assault on Tuesday with three motorized rifle brigades, Ukraine said. It's one of Russia's biggest attacks in months, other groups monitoring Russia's invasion of Ukraine gave similar assessments of Russia's recent losses there. Washington-based think tank the Institute for the Study of War ISW said on Thursday that geolocated footage indicates that Russian forces have likely lost at least a battalion tactical group's BTG's worth of armored vehicles in offensive operations around Avdivka. And Ukrainian military analysts estimated that Russia lost at least 36 vehicles in Avdivka over just two days. Footage shared by the Shadow of Ukraine Telegram channel shows Russian vehicles being hit. The ISW said it geolocated the footage, and the vehicles were near Avdivka. Ukraine has not stated a total vehicle loss for Russia in Avdivka in recent days, but both officials and units fighting there have confirmed a strong Russian push to try to retake the village. Ukraine's 110th Separate Mechanized Brigade told there is heavy fighting in the area. The country regained control of Avdivka in September, in one of its bigger wins during its counteroffensive. In these two days, Ukrainian forces are trying to hold off a major new Russian offensive operation in the strategic city of Avdivka. Russia sent dozens of tanks and armored vehicles and thousands of troops into the assault, which started four days ago. They are hitting with everything they have. Yesterday a lot of armor was used, they came in columns. The assault isn't stopping neither day or night, Vitaly Barabish, the head of Avdivka's military administration, said on Ukrainian television. <laughs> Russia has also launched smaller offensive operations at points all along the front line intensifying an offensive near the city of Kapiansk, which Ukraine liberated last year, according to Ukrainian troops on the ground. But the main attack is on Avdivka, which holds major strategic significance for both sides. Avdivka is located close to Donetsk, the capital of the Russian-occupied Donetsk region. Ukraine heavily fortified the line at Avdivka prior to Russia's full-scale invasion last year, constructing deep trenches and a system of underground bunkers. As a result, Russian forces have barely advanced near the city, but Russia now appears to be seeking to cut off Avdivka and surround the Ukrainian forces inside its defenses. For the entire time of the war, there has never been such an offensive around Avdivka, even though they've attacked Avdivka since 2014. Oleksiy Dmitroshkisky, chief spokesman for the command of Ukraine's territorial defense forces. He said two Russian battalions, numbering around 2,000 men and backed by dozens of tanks and other armored vehicles, had begun the attacks, pushing from the northwest and southwest. A massive artillery and air barrage had preceded the assault and has continued since, with frequent strikes on the city itself. So far the Russian assault has appeared to have gone badly, according to Ukrainian military officials and open-source researchers tracking the losses. Barabish, Avdivka's military administration chief, said at least 40 Russian armored vehicles had been lost in two days. Videos circulating online of the attacks appeared to largely support those claims, 
with some open source researchers saying 30 to 50 Russian tanks and other vehicles had been damaged or destroyed. Ukraine's general staff claimed around 1,000 Russian troops had been killed along the entire front line in Ukraine for two days running, although that number could not be verified independently. The Institute for the Study of War said Russia had managed to capture roughly 4.52 square kilometers of territory from different directions around Avdivka in the last three days. Russian forces have not secured any major breakthroughs near Avdivka as of October 12 and are unlikely to immediately cut off Ukrainian forces in the city, ISW wrote in its daily briefing Thursday. Ukrainian military officials said their troops have successfully held the lines, inflicting heavy casualties on the Russian attackers, though Ukrainian casualties were also large. The new Russian offensive, the scale of which seemed to catch some analysts off guard, nonetheless was significant because it appears to show Russia's attempt to regain the initiative in the war. The Russians have decided that they can already start their own counterattack in the Avdivka direction, Dmitroshkysky said. They are taking advantage of the fact that the attention of the whole world is on the events in Israel and they have started an active phase along the entire front line. He said the Russian attack near Avdivka had involved a mixed force of paratroopers and poorly trained forces, as well as so-called Storm Z units detachments of convicts sent to fight. They were very weakly prepared and that showed in their losses, Dmitroshkysky said. The attack had been exceptionally large, he added, requiring huge efforts from Ukrainian troops to blunt it. Most analysts believe Russia likely still lacks the manpower to make significant gains in an offensive, including around Avdivka. But the push indicated Russia hopes to further blunt Ukraine's counteroffensive with its own counterpunch, coming as the weather starts to worsen. Ukraine is continuing to press its own attacks in the southern Zaporizhia region where its counteroffensive is focused and around the city of Bakhmut, 